all right so i woke up early so that i can film during the daytime so that i have that nice beautiful sunshine while i'm filming but look at the weather outside it's pouring it's literally pouring damn this weather anyways Weather is getting pretty sexy, I guess, but that makes you feel lethargic. I don't know if this happens with me or you guys feel when it's raining, it's more like you just want to relax and just don't, don't want to do anything. Is it just me? Anyways, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video to another, not a tutorial, just a random video because I haven't uploaded anything since almost a month. When you are watching this video, it's maybe more than a month i haven't uploaded anything and that is literally terrifying because you know this youtube algorithm how it works if you don't upload anything for like a month you are nowhere you are literally nowhere so what you can do to help me is subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and share it with your friends if you want more content on graphic design filmmaking or painting in general and honestly, this procedure and this phase of getting into a college from a school is like a roller coaster ride. And you know, this entire procedure of getting into a single college after applying to, uh, I guess, four or five colleges and then getting selected in one of them is literally a draining process. And all these, you know, arts colleges taking all these various exams, like first there is a portfolio evaluation and then there is, you know, this practical exam then there's viva and all that stuff this is so draining and you literally cannot focus into anything i'm literally trying to you know record this video for almost uh two weeks i guess and today i'm finally being able to you know I, I was like let's just record something let's just do something otherwise this is just gonna keep going and i won't be able to record anything and make anything for more than two months now because yeah this is literally so draining that you won't feel like doing anything so that is why i couldn't upload anything for such a long time and uh, with this vlog i don't have any you know educational or all that kind of you know i don't have any kind of mood with all that stuff i just want to make a relaxing art vlog with me working and you know explaining my work and my art my craft and you know just make it be relaxing and be positive kind of video so yeah that is what happening today you know i need something that you know is absolutely essential to start my day or make my day you know which is coffee by the way i got this new one kohoma it just smells so good So just when you think things are going really bad, things are going miserable actually, and you try yourself to be, you know, positive like a prophet that, you know, things are going to be good, bad times are just gonna pass, and you know, times gonna change, and you know, things are gonna turn out to be well, it's just a bad time, and all that positive stuff that you convince yourself with, and then it turns out that things are just about to get even more worse. This is my smartphone right now. Completely shattered in both the ways. Absolutely gone. Like it's working from inside. It's working. There are calls coming in. Everything is working, but the display is just nowhere. It's shattered literally. Plus I have a broken frame over here. So I guess I'm not into buying a new phone right now because that's going to cost a lot. So I just don't. I'm just not into it so I'll just repair this by today farthest by tomorrow because I need my cell phone for obvious reason for whatsapp and college purpose and all that stuff and also I need to get some art supplies I guess because I need a I guess a art pad or not an art pad but it's actually a canvas pad like canvas cloth cut into a4 size paper and then framed in one book style you know canvas pad i exactly don't know the name but it's just the thing and apart from that i need to get some other stuff for myself you know that i just need happen to have which is coffee and all that stuff but anyway so the plan is just that 
I'll just try my level best to be happy right now by making a calm painting vlog kind of style. So I'll be painting one of my works that I'm just finishing. So I'll start doing that and then probably when it's like 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening, I'll go out and fix this stuff and then and also get my art supplies. So yeah, enjoy. the work that I've been working on for last couple of days I guess 15 days or more than that I don't know so basically this is just rethinking the famous painting or reimagining the famous painting Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci so the basic concept or idea behind this painting is to bring out the character Mona Lisa to a kind of environment that is very familiar to me and something that anyone who doesn't has really a lot of you know knowledge about art can also relate to it so needless to say Mona Lisa is one of the most famous painting in the world and is one of the most replicated and reinterpreted work in the history of art starting from Salvador Dali to contemporary painters a lot of people have replicated and reinterpreted the painting but most of them had their attention towards the subject of the original painting that is Mona Lisa herself I was more drawn towards experimenting with the background and the foreground elements without making much changes to the character in itself because I wanted to bring out the character in a different environment. So when I was recomposing the basic sketch for my painting, I was kind of like thinking it in this way that every time I look at the painting Mona Lisa, I kind of had a feeling like she's someone who belongs to a higher society, like a very rich person with posh attire and stuff like that. Now this is something that is completely personal, in no way I claim that this is fact, this is the actual thing or something like that it is just my personal feelings so yeah based on that I thought to myself what if this painting I mean this original work was made in my own city that happens to be Calcutta so how would the background look like in that context how would the foreground look like what elements can you bring in to you know that just bring that feeling of city of joy kind of vibe so yeah that was my idea and that was the conceptualization behind this painting now I'm not going too much is that why you are seeing me painting this particular background or foreground elements but we'll continue that in the next vlog it's two o'clock right now that's two o'clock all right so it's 5 30 in the afternoon and i think i should go out and get all my stuff why is the camera shaking so much so i think i should go out and get all my stuff and also get done with repairing this thing which is completely broken by the way so yeah i think I should get done with all that stuff because at 8 o'clock things are gonna get closed and I also need to come back before 8 o'clock so that I can finish a sketch so that I can have it ready for tomorrow's class where we are gonna be doing something really interesting about pointillism and all that stuff anyways so I think I should go out and probably get done with everything so yeah let's do that Look on the bright side I'm taking it high, look in the bright light, I'm losing my sight, I'm keeping it burning, I'm hot and ice, I'm coming out of ice, I'm sick of this high. Alright, so I just came back home, fixed this thing. Uh, not that it's in proper condition, but at least in working condition so that I can, you know, use this thing for college purpose and all that stuff. But yeah, I hope you like the B-rolls and it is something that I really love, you know, filming and I hope that you love watching it as well. And if you do just a sort of reminder, do hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Anyways, so I need to get back to work, finish up a sketch right now that I need for tomorrow and all that stuff, get done with everything and then I'll see you guys. Bye. All right, so that is my subject that I'm gonna be drawing, but personally, I feel that 
Pointillism looks way more great and credible in portraits and landscape than still life. But I guess it's okay and mind me, it's just my personal thought and my personal opinion or personal feeling, I would say. And also given the fact that I cannot go out and, you know, sketch a landscape scene or, you know, sketch a portrait because I don't have that much time. So I guess it is okay and I just start sketching and finish it off and then I'll go to sleep because tomorrow I have class at 9 10 which is way early for me so until this video i don't think that i have filmed a sequence of me sketching the basic drawing because i kind of feel like this process of making the basic sketch is kind of clumsy or i would say a bit complicated like there's a lot of fine tuning going on in this period like i'm giving one stroke then i feel like it's not perfect so i give another stroke and the process goes on until i'm happy with the sketch so i thought maybe people are not interested to see this part of my painting or people are gonna judge and all that stuff but recently i have managed to overcome this fear of mine and i also feel that you know it's really important to share how a piece of artwork starts it off. In one of my recent classes, one of my recent art classes from college obviously, one of my professors told us uh, that it's a good habit not to use the eraser too much and he said in a you know humorous way that just throw it away. So instead it's a good habit to keep those imperfect lines and redraw a stroke on top of it or just aside it depending on your composition and you know in that way you know what was wrong and what was right, what was a more perfect or accurate line or stroke you know and you when you revisit your painting after a long time you know that there was the problem and there is a solution that's the right line or stroke whatever so yeah when i'm doing this sketch i didn't had any knowledge or know how about this thought or i never gave it a thought about this so yeah i was not following that but i hope to follow that in the near future by the way, this voiceover explanation with the painting process is something a new format that I'm really trying out. So let me know about that in the comment section and I will continue that in the next vlog, I guess. So yeah, do let me know about your views so we can continue that in the next vlog. Alright, so it's now 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I got done with most of my classes and apparently the sketch that you saw me doing last night, this one, it got changed for apparently absolute no reason. I don't know, but maybe they changed plan and they made us do something like, you know, playing around with shapes and forms and making compositions out of them. So yeah, it's it's not that interesting, but it's something fundamental that anyone who is studying with art or refine in general has to do. But yeah, it's not interesting, to be honest. But yeah, I, I think I, I'll have to finish all these things, you know, this this one that i started all by myself so yeah you might get to see that in the next vlog but for this vlog i don't want to stretch it anymore so yeah if you did like this video don't forget to like share comment subscribe and hit that bell icon for more new notifications and i'm gonna see you in the next one until then be happy be good go get creative tata bye sayonara all right so here is a secret if you want to live for a longer period of time you know what you have to do you have to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more notification about my videos. I mean if people can write all these things in the comment section why can't we say in the video? Makes sense right? Bye.